a teenage girl. I'm also a soccer player. I'm also an artist. I'd like to think I'm funny. I love hanging out with my friends. I'm also transgender, and I'm proud of that. So that was Jazz, a transgender person. His parents claim he started saying he was a girl by age two, and so they began to transition him from age five. So far, Jazz has been through multiple surgeries in order to appear like a woman. I had the gender confirmation surgery, and now we're on the third surgery. There's scar everywhere. If you don't have okay. to cut this, why would you cut that? There are a lot of things that have to go perfectly for her to have a beautiful aesthetic result. However, it doesn't end there. There's still more jazz has to do in order to maintain this facade. Dilation is a process that comes along with bottom surgery. You take this long acrylic object and insert it up your vaginal canal so that you maintain depth and width. It's really important that you do this because if you don't, your vagina will start closing up and it'll lose its depth. What is wrong with transgenderism? It gives the impression that God makes mistakes with people's gender. But we know that God doesn't make mistakes at all in anything. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 4. He is the rock. His works are perfect and all his ways are just. A faithful God who does no wrong. Upright and just is he. 2 Samuel chapter 22 verse 31a. As for God, his way is perfect. Psalm 18 verse 30a. As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. So when God created us, either male or female, he knew exactly what he was doing. He made no mistake with Jazz or anyone else for that matter. Here's the second thing wrong with transgenderism. According to the Mayo Clinic, transgender people are at a higher risk of mental health problems such as depression, anxiety, and suicidal thoughts. We already see this happening in Jazz's life. The reality is I have a mental health issue and it's hard for me to share that. It's hard for me to admit that, but it's the truth. Two years ago, I had just graduated as valedictorian in my class. I was on my way to one of the greatest institutions in the world. I completed all of my gender affirmation surgeries. Everything was perfect, but by the time I was ready to go to Harvard, I was just in complete shambles and I was actually struggling severely with mental health issues, severe depression and anxiety. When you last saw me, I wasn't eating at all. I was in a dark phase and I was the lowest weight I've ever been. And then on the reverse side of that, I started binge eating and I gained weight and more weight and more weight. And food was just that one thing that was constant and that would make me feel at least a little bit better, but I just let myself go all the way and now almost 100 pounds heavier, here I am today. After all these surgeries, Jazz is still not happy. Admittedly, Jazz looks like a woman, but he feels unfulfilled and is not happy. In one of his latest videos, he gives the impression that he has regrets about his transition. I'm okay. I don't think I'm gonna cry. But you, you know I can't get out of my head. I know, no, listen. <laughs> I it know. just doesn't stop. It's okay. Give me a hug. It's okay. I know what you're going through. We've been there before. No, it still doesn't stop now. I and I'm already going well, back to you, negative. But the more you're talking about yourself, it gets harder. Mm -hmm. You're digging in and you're, it's making you put a magnifying glass on what's already difficult as it is. So this is hard for you. I know. And you don't, we don't want to push you I know. Anymore. I'm the one doing it. Like, I know. You're your own worst enemy. I feel kind of all over the place and like my mind is very cluttered and not clear. And I really want to have that clarity. I really want to understand myself and be able to read my own soul and what I want. And it's just very challenging. And I think I'm kind of breaking down a little bit and spiraling into negativity. I just want to feel like myself. Like, that's right. it. I don't like care. All I want is to be happy and feel like me. And I don't feel like what me ever. Me? This is what happens when we try to play God. Let's appreciate who we are. According to Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, we are God's masterpiece. That means that we are a work of outstanding artistry. Psalm 139 verse 14 says we are fearfully and wonderfully made. God didn't make a mistake with your gender, so don't try to alter it. 
Remember what is written in Genesis chapter 1 verse 31a. God saw all that he had made and it was very good. You are very good in the sight of God. You are perfect in the sight of God. You don't have to alter your gender. If there's anything you have to change, it's your mindset. The Bible says that be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Reform your mind instead of trying to reform your gender because that will not be successful. It is your mindset that has to change. So this is what I think about transgenderism and jazz's issue. Let me know what you also think in the comments section below. Until I come your way again next time, stay blessed.